all right guys uh welcome back and we're almost there well done we have loaded everything all uh, that is left right now is to add in other conditions for showing these uh, sh uh this emoji and uh, showing this alert so let's uh, jump back in and get that done all right so basically uh you can uh, add if and else conditions uh, in django all right so this is pretty powerful because you can even add uh, if and else conditions in python as well all right so what we did here is if and else conditions here all right so this is from python now we can do that in django as well so it's pretty easy it's pretty simple uh you need to know uh, what you want to do first all right so what i want to do is i want to show this image only when uh, the particular calorie surpasses about 200 calories all right so what i'm going to do is uh this below calories where it says strong i'm going to click uh, my mouse there and press enter and i'm going to open curly braces add in percentage signs and it's going to say and i'm going to say if api dot zero dot calories all right so it's the same thing api dot zero dot calories all right is above is greater okay is greater i'm gonna add in zero dot calories is greater and 200 all right i'm going to show this image all right now we need to end this okay so i'm going to say we have we need to end this if tag all right so i'm going to add in two percentage sign and say end it all right so that's it guys uh that's that, it was that easy so uh you can now uh, uh say greater than 200 or greater or is equal to 200 like this right you can say if something is lesser than uh, 200 whatever but for this right now you can use this uh, to tell django if something is about 200 calories then display this image right so let's go and hit refresh all right so chicken is 226 so uh, let's type something else like let's type idli so idli so Italy has a total of 153.9 calories and we don't have that emoji here so there, has, there seems to be some uh, CSS issue, issue here we're going to fix that all right uh next uh we have to have a condition all right uh so the thing is I think we ended the end if uh, at the wrong place what I'm going to do is I'm going to control x and paste this within the h1 so that's the reason why we had the uh, css error here continue all right yeah so that's fixed all right good next we want to show uh this alert if the sodium content of our food that we are looking for is high all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the curly braces and to percentage signs and say if api dot zero dot we need to look at the sodium here all right so sodium underscore mg we're going to copy that all right and where are you uh, here all right uh, paste that in apm api dot zero dot sodium underscore mg is greater than uh, let's say a normal uh, caloric value for sodium every day a person can consume is let's keep it thousand. all right uh, this is not something that is scientifically backed all right it's just coming out of my pocket so just be careful if you're putting this on live make sure you're doing enough research so that people get uh, a genuine value uh, if they're looking for something all right and i'm going to end this if tag with an end if e n d i f all right so let's hit refresh yep so that's gone so let's look for salt obviously that's high in sodium so we're getting that back so we are good that's working so let's add the same thing to uh sugar as well right so let's open an uh if tag here again i'm gonna say if api dot zero dot why am i always typing o for this all right zero dot uh 
I'm gonna come down, down uh, to sugar. I'm gonna copy this and uh, paste that in. All right, and what do we wanna know? Uh, if uh, the sugar content is more than uh, 100, then we want to show that uh, alert, right? All right, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna end this end if tag just below this. And percentage signs and say end it. Right? Mm, all right. That's good. Let's hit refresh. All right. So this is for salt. Let's add something uh, granola. All right. So we're getting the emoji here. The alerts are gone because it's neither high in sodium or sugar. Uh, let's add, uh, let's go ahead and look for uh, uh, European foods. Yeah. Uh, European cuisine. And let's go somewhere. Um, I'm not sure. It's bagel. B A G E L. Let's, oh, I'm sorry, let's go and look for bagel. Enter. Oh, bagel has a total of 256 calories, but it's within our uh, sugar limit and within our sodium limit. So we're not getting that error here. What else? Uh, let's look at uh, you. Something that's easy to pronounce. Uh, fondue. N D U E. Fondue. Still getting that emoji here. I want something very sweet, like say, uh, lab, lab. Right. it's still within a sugar calories uh, limit, so that's that's <laughs> that's strange. Uh, let's look at something else. I know this uh, video is getting uh, too long. Um, I don't know, curry worst. I don't see that. Let's see if we get something up here. Ah, uh, no, probably, uh, I don't know. Anyways, uh, we know that it works. Uh, it's just that I'm not finding the right foods to uh, look for with high sodium and sugar. But yeah, we're close. It was 896 uh, high in sodium. Right. All right. So the next thing we want to do is, guys, uh, we're going to load the charts uh, just below this uh, uh, nutritional values and the exercise widget. All right. We're going to uh, pull in all these values from here and load these into charts so that people uh, who are looking at uh, the information will have a picturistic view of uh, the entire uh, setup of the nutritional values and uh, at one glance at that you'll know what, what's it uh, in like for example if it's high in sodium potassium sugar it's going to display there it's going to be easier for people to absorb the information all right so let's uh, do that in the next video thanks guys see you later